So, uh, you know, my specialty is probably my meatballs. They go over big. Yeah, I take a lot of time in preparation. Melt in your mouth. If you really want to be a hit at a party, show up with my balls. Anyways, let's get around to preparing them. All right? So, Chef Magic Meatballs, take you a pound and a half of ground beef, ground sirloin, ground turkey, for those people who don't like red meat. And, uh, yeah, so here's what I got. Let me show you guys what I got. I got a half ounce of ground flowers. Hmm? Those aren't rosebuds. No, man. That was the good stuff. I have... That was the Mercatroid. <laughs> yeah. I have diced up a half of an onion. You can use any kind of onion you want. We have some breadcrumbs. Yeah. Seasoned breadcrumbs. Right? And one huevo. It's all about the huevo. We don't want our meatballs to be huevos. No. All right. So. Let's have coyotes. I'm gonna mix in the onions. I'm gonna mix in one egg. I'm gonna mix in a quarter cup of seasoned breadcrumbs. Oh yeah. Yep. And now for the magic ingredients. Let me tell you. Usually I don't like guys' balls, but these balls are good. And I'm not just saying that because you're my friend. I hope not. Let's mix this up. You got a spoon? Chef Serge? Yes, I do. Let's get right this going. Here, my friend. Some of those like to use a spoon. Sometimes the only way to really make meatballs just dig in and use your hands. You know, it's kind of like being sophomore on a first date, you know, got to get hands on. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, now I'm just going to go on hands and show you how to get in there really good. As he's mixing, um, all we're going to do at this point, we got the flowers in there. We have some onion. You know, you can add salt and pepper if you like. We're just gonna shape some meatballs and then brown them up in a frying pan. Once again, portion is gonna be important. So, some people like big balls, some people like small balls, but I think, you know, middle of the road, medium sized balls are always gonna be best. Ask anyone, right? So I'm gonna take the mixture and just form, make sure your hands are clean and just form a nice little... Hmm. Go watch The Big Lebowski? Yeah. I love that. Especially when he's going down the lane and he looks up. You know, when they actually filmed that, one of the girls. All right. You know, for those that are Jewish or don't like meat, like pork, you could use soy. You know, whatever's good. If you don't like the flavor of it, you know, I suggest deep frying it in animal fat, but then again, that wouldn't be vegan, would it? All right, let's show them what we got going. I have some frying in a pan. And let's go over to the stove. And action. All right, let's fry these on up. Brown. So, I just got a regular frying pan. Turn that to about medium, right there. I'm gonna put a little, uh, I like to use olive oil. 
you know, the flavoring. I'm just gonna cover the bottom of the pan with this. See that, Chef Serge? Oh yeah, that looks nice. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for that to heat on up. And then I'm gonna brown these meatballs. in there. Now these are going to take, until they get brown, probably about seven to ten minutes. And it's, these are made out of uh, ground beef, so you want to make sure that you cook them all the way through. Right? We don't want anybody getting sick. Yeah, I Do you have to move them a lot? Well, we want to brown them all the way around. So yeah, I am going to roll them around once they get going here. We want to keep it on medium because we don't want to burn those, we don't want to burn those flowers that are in there, right? We don't want to burn the cannabis up in the bottom of the pan. So we're just going to keep it on medium and just brown them real good. Wow, that smells wonderful. Yeah, nothing quite like the smell of cooking with cannabis. You can do that. Some people like to have uh, more like Swedish meatballs, where they put like a gravy over it, which you can infuse that with cannabis as well. And um, there's, you know. So there's just no stopping with adding cannabis to your food? Not at all. Anything that you like to eat, you can find a way to put medicinal marijuana into it. Wow. Either with the hash, or with, the, with the flour, or the keep. Right? Wow, that's killer. And then later in the show, I'm going to show you how to infuse it into liquids as well. Like maybe an alcohol tincture. Wow. So that really covers all the bases. You should be able to enjoy alcohol it. Alcohol doesn't kill the THC? No, no. That's we'll, crazy, uh, dude. We'll, we'll talk about that, though, when we... I'll show you how to make it. Yeah, that was pretty cool the way you did that butter. Cause I never seen that. Or like that. I always did it the hard way. Yeah. With well. the double boiler and then doing the butter on top and then pressing everything out through wire screens. Well, as much like as much four as hours to make what you did in one hour or less. As much as I make it, I found a quick way to do it. So that's what I want to share with the people. And mine doesn't taste as good either. Thank you, sir. So, these are getting browned. You see I'm rolling them around. Browning them on all sides. Also, for people who are more health conscious and don't like red meat, they can use soy or... I understand. Uh, <laughs> somebody yeah. that for guys, likes meat. For guys like me and you, it's meat, though. But for people that are more health conscious, there's soy meat and also tofu for vegans. They can you can do the same thing when you're browning your tofu. Let's see, one of these times we're gonna have to invite a celebrity vegan to come and have some of your meatballs. No doubt. Face for to go. <laughs> now look, see, now they're getting brown. Ah, yeah. And that's what you're looking for with uh, with ground beef or any kind of beef. You're looking for it to start getting brown. You can mix like meat and pork together too if you want to, huh? I suppose you could. Or you could take this mixture and put it in a wonton wrap and make some, uh, what do they call it, sumai? Some of those uh, Oh, dumplings. wow, I never even thought of that, dude. I'm telling you, it goes on and, and on. on and on. Dude, I'm thinking we need to get Tommy Tang now. Okay. <laughs> Bam! That guy's great. You ever been to his restaurant? No, I haven't. Just like once. I'm always cooking. Is there any way to infuse uh, uh, cannabis with uh, things such as chicken or roast? Well, I know with chicken, that's a little bit different, like when you deep fry it. Well, see, that's when you want to just take the minced flour and right. use it more like a rub, something like that. But we're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. You know? 